couple weeks after the plane crash, uh, AIM invited a few close friends up to his house. And he still had bandages like on his head and his arms and stuff. And he was like, so I have this opportunity. I can DJ for uh, Jay-Z, but I'd have to get on an airplane and go to Houston. And it's in two weeks. And he's like, what do you think I should do? He's like, it's not a lot of money, but you know, it's, it's Jay-Z. Dude, you were just in a plane crash. He's like, what are you talking about getting on another plane right now? Like, you need to recover. You got burns on your body. You're, you know, you're talking about getting on a plane? And he's like, but it's Hova, man. Like, we talked him out of it. We were, he was like, yeah, you're right. You know, it's too soon. I, I shouldn't get on an airplane yet. And we're like, right, you know? The very next morning, he woke up. He said, I want to do this. So that was Adam. I can't even imagine how he had the courage to do that. And I spoke to him a day before, it was a day or two before he was actually in the plane crash, because he's telling me I have to fly out, then I'm a, you know, then he, then that happened, and then he called and said, man, don't count me out of this show. And I'm like, what? Because I'm thinking, you know, he's going to take a year to recover. I'm, you know, we'll figure that out, you know, some other time. He should never have gone back to work. He had such terrible post-traumatic stress from that plane crash. And for him to get onto an airplane for a gig, he was terrified, absolutely terrified. You know, I've got to get over this. I've got to get over this. I want to work. I've got to work. I've got to continue my life. We got a special guest tonight. Make some noise for DJ A and what's happening tonight, son. People that lost their lives. We gonna party hard tonight for them. He was really happy that his hands were okay. Because I remember he was very, very, very freaked out by the damage that had been done to his hands. I think he was very worried that his money makers were, were damaged. I mean, obviously he was very happy to be living, but you know, once you get over that, there was also a massive welcome back AM party that where something to the tune of 20 DJs played and to kind of welcome him back. I'm honestly speechless. I never get on the mic. I'm in shock. All you guys came out for real. Thank you. Please say a prayer for my man Travis. And uh, I, I hope you guys know you've got Mixmaster Mike right here. I grew up basically jacking off to this guy's DJ videos. Because he's so fucking ill, it's not, he's not even human. He grew up jacking off to my DJ videos. Don't want to see what that looks like, but I'm flattered. Being able to see him that night after what he went through was amazing. It was like, wow, I actually still have my friend here.